everybody. This is Minister Sharon. I'm glad to have another opportunity to connect with you in the Word of God. So let's dig right in. Do you know that God designed you with purpose? In Psalms 139, David says it like this. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. God has designed each one of us to fulfill his purpose in the earth. Each of us were designed with unique qualities and attributes to help us get there. You are predetermined to be who and what you are. This is why it is important to know who you are called to be in Christ. We all have someone in life that we look up to and desire to be like. It's okay, but the most amazing thing you can be is the best version of you. In Genesis, God created man in his image and after his likeness. Even though your parents had already been chosen, you are a complex, creative manifestation of what was in the mind of God. You are created to resemble God and to bear his image. Your story has already been written before you were placed in your mother's womb. Ephesians 1.11 lets us know we have obtained an inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of him who works all things after the counsel of his own will. God knows each of us intimately because he made us. He understands the smallest of details of our lives. He knows the hairs on our head and the size of our shoes. There is nothing about you, past, present, or future, that God doesn't know. Psalms 139 outlines clearly how intimately we are connected and known of God. David acknowledges that the Lord searches and knows him from when he sits to the time he rises. Before a thought can enter the mind and form a word on the tongue, Lord, you know. The Lord is familiar with all of our ways. There is nowhere we can go from the presence of the Lord in heaven or on earth. This knowledge, David says, is too wonderful. It was so astonishing that the angels, uh, God, that God would take time to visit man on the cool of every evening and have such interest in man that they asked God, what is man that thou art mindful of him? This man that you created was created a little Lord than the angels, and you crowned him with glory and honor. Not only that, you gave him dominion over all your works. Wow, that's enough to praise God for. It doesn't matter what things look like in life right now, God gave you authority and put all things under your feet. He designed every detail of you. What would happen if every time someone told us that we aren't good enough, we aren't smart enough, good looking enough, or skinny enough, that we remembered who our creator is? How would our confidence rise and fully comprehend the loving details woven into the fabric of our being? You are just who God wanted you to be. You are purposed by design and designed for God's purpose. Realizing this truth will forever change how you see yourself. Gone would be the contrary spirit of comparison and envy. You and I are loved uniquely, meaning one of a kind, a blueprint like no other. Your design will be often imitated but never duplicated. When the world around you witnesses the glory that God has placed within you, you can humbly peel back your designer label reading fearfully and wonderfully made. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, for this time in your word that you've called us to be who you wanted us to be. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for your power and your love, Lord Jesus, that you bestowed upon us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you know our end from our beginning and you have purposed it in your heart, Lord Jesus, for us to be new creatures in you. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your loving kindness. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the time and the details that you put into making us the create the creatures that you would have us to be. Help us to fulfill your purpose in the earth. We'll forever give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' mighty name we do pray. Amen and amen. God bless you until we meet again.